Hello everyone, welcome to the turkey, the pumpkin and turkey love tutorial. Today we are going to need a piece of drawing paper and our markers. And we'll also be using a bit of pastel. Um, if you don't have pastel, you can use crayon. And how we're going to draw our picture today is we are going to draw a little turkey and he is going to be holding a pumpkin. Uh, because this turkey wants to bring something to his vegan Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> I thought that'd be kind of a cute little idea for our turkey. So I've got my drawing paper, I've got my pencil. I'm going to start with the turkey's head, which is just going to be kind of like a circle. And then I'm going to draw his body down like this and let's start with his face so I'm going to do his beak which is going to be a line across but then I'm going to turn down like a triangle and I'm going to make my lines my corners curved not sharp and what I mean by that is um oops, sorry hair's falling out um what I mean by that is I've got, instead of going like this, like sharp corners, I'm going to do my line and then I'm gonna turn and go down and then turn and go up and then turn. So you can do sharp corners, but when you're wondering what I'm talking about when I'm turning is I am curving my lines on the end. And then he has his gobbler and then we're also going to do some big eyes. So I've done these big eyes with my class where I've done kind of like this. And I call them the surprise eyes because he looks surprised. And so I think our turkey is going to his dinner and he's like, I hope they want to eat the pumpkin and not the turkey. So let's have him holding a pumpkin. We're going to draw his pumpkin right here in the middle of his belly. And we're going to do a curved line like this. And then we're going to add to our pumpkin on each side like this. And then you can do one more. You can make it a bigger pumpkin if you want. And sort of just come from the top and bring it around. And then I'm gonna do a little circle and join and join the top of the pumpkin stem. And then his wings are going to be holding this pumpkin. So see how he's kind of got it? Like he's gonna present it to whoever's at the dinner. And then we'll put his little feet on And then he's got his turkey wings coming up like this behind him. So just a really simple and cute turkey. I'm gonna put some detail lines on his wings so we can add some color. And then I'm gonna give him like a little tuft of hair for some character. And that is our drawing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black marker and I'm going to outline all of my pencil mark. I'm going to come around like this and just outline everything in black. I like it to kind of stand out. You've done such a good job with your drawing that I want to now outline it so that it really stands out. And outlining is a great way to make your finger muscles stronger and the stronger our finger muscles are, the more control we have, and the better we get at our printing and our writing. 
and of course our drawing and coloring. So Miss Mervyn is not vegan. I do enjoy some vegan dishes. I just thought this was kind of a funny idea. We definitely, sorry turkey, we eat turkey at Thanksgiving and Christmas. But there we go. Okay, so we've got them all outlined. And then we're going to take some markers to color him in. I'm gonna start with my orange and I'm going to start with the pumpkin. And I like to run my marker into my black and give it a bit of texture by having that black blend in. I like the way that looks when they all kind of smudge together. And that happens with crayon and pastel. Just a nice little effect, it gives it texture. And then I'm gonna do his feet. And you can see that I didn't get right over top of my pencil mark, but that's okay because when we color it, it all kind of it all kind of works itself out. And then I'll do up here in his beak, and I'll take my red and do his little gobbler, and I'm going to do this here. Just give him some different color texture, color right in there, and right in here, okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him his little tuft, I'm going to take my brown and just do his little tuft of hair. And then I'm also going to take my yellow. I'm going to make the ends of his turkey wings yellow. And see how I'm getting that black in smudged into my yellow here. I really like that because it just gives it, it's not so bright, kind of mutes it a bit. And then they all kind of blend in together. And then that also is because I had a little pencil mark there. But if you think of a real turkey and how their feathers would be, it makes it look a little, a little more realistic. I'm just gonna color right in here. And if I'm coloring too fast or ahead of you, you can always pause me or we'll just color along together. And then the video will end and you'll just keep coloring. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brown pastel and because turkeys are, you know, um, feathery, I'm going to come and do this because it will give these feathers kind of a more ruffled look. You could just use your brown crayon or brown marker as well. I just wanna show you how you can mix your, um, your coloring materials and come in here and then this little wing that's holding the pumpkin coming down from his this big wing and then right here his little hands feather hands and then I'm gonna come all the way around here Color in there. Okay, and then come up here. And over here. Okay like that, nice and standing out. And then what I wanna do, I just noticed, 
I want to put um, some color on my stem so that when I color over top of it, so put some color on my stem and then I will come in and color around here. Just being careful not to go over top of my pumpkin. I want to keep my pumpkin nice and bright. And then I'm just going to color around here and up here. And all the way around. Okay, and then his little head is just popping out, so now we can color in around here. And I really like the contrast of textures. The marker gives it that flat, smooth feel, and then the pastel gives it, or even the crayon, just gives it a little bit of a rougher texture. And come around here and our surprise little turkey showing up to dinner with his pumpkin looking so cute now around here sometimes it's winter at Thanksgiving and sometimes it's fall but we're gonna be optimistic and he's just walking through the grass going for a little walk give some little tufts of grass on the bottom. Then I'll take my brown and just put some dirt in between like this. And you can even go like all the way across if you want. If you want it to, then it looks a little more 3D. And then I'm going to take my blue pastel and color in this background. And you can also do that with your blue crayon depending on what you're using or what you have at home right now. But you can, if you have a kit, you've got the pastels for sure. You could even use pencil crayon. And even if you have a kit and you're like, oh, I'd love to use some pencil crayon actually, then you can do that too. So there's just so much you can do with these drawings. It's really just a guide to get you thinking, get you started. And then you can kind of play around with the rest. So I'm just gonna come around and color this all in. And I'm moving my paper around and when you do some different directions with your um, pastel like this or your crayon, it gives it like a, a choppy sky, a windy sky, which is very relevant for where I live. Unfortunately, that wind can be a real problem. But you might also just want to do, you have to use your helper hand to hold the corners but you may also just want to do a very smooth sky. And if you're doing that, one thing that helps is to go around your whole picture and create kind of like a fence. And then you can go towards your fence and you won't run into your other part and it will make a smoother looking sky. So there we go. There's our turkey and pumpkin love. And this would look so cute on your October um, section of your calendar, or even if you want to pop it in a little frame and take it out at Thanksgiving. And you know I love to see your pictures, so please share them with me. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.